Have you ever wondered how Wi-Fi works? How a string of ones and zeros can leave a device, travel invisibly through the air, and appear on another device as a video, a song, or a web page? Well, buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of Wi-Fi data transmission. Wi-Fi works a bit like a two-way radio, with both a transmitter and a receiver. In Wi-Fi, these are known as a router and a device. The router sends information from the internet to a device, and the device sends information back to the router. The first step in this process is the conversion of data into a radio signal by the router. The router receives information from the internet in the form of binary code, that's ones and zeros. It then converts this binary code into a radio signal using a process called modulation. Modulation is the process of varying one or more properties of a high-frequency periodic waveform called the carrier signal. In the case of Wi-Fi, the properties that are varied are the frequency, phase, or amplitude of the signal. This radio signal is then transmitted over the airwaves. The device, such as a smartphone or a laptop, receives this signal with a wireless adapter. The wireless adapter is a kind of mini radio station receiving signals, converting them back into binary code, and then sending that code to the device's processor. The processor interprets this binary code and translates it into the content we see on our screens. But how does the device know which signal is meant for it and which isn't? That's where the service set identifier or SSID comes in. Each Wi-Fi network has a unique SSID, and when a device connects to a network, it's actually connecting to that SSID. So the device knows to only receive signals that are transmitted with its network's SSID. And what about when multiple devices are connected to the same network, like in a home or office? Well, each device has a unique media access control, or MAC address. When the router sends out a signal, it includes the MAC address of the device it's intended for. This way, even if multiple devices are connected to the same network, each one only receives the data meant for it. To summarize, Wi-Fi data transmission is a step-by-step -step process. It starts with the router receiving binary code from the internet and converting it into a radio signal. This signal is then transmitted over the airwaves to the device. The device's wireless adapter receives the signal, converts it back into binary code, and sends it to the processor. The processor then translates this code into the content we see on our screens. Every step of this process is precisely coordinated, allowing us to stream videos, browse the web, and listen to music wirelessly. So the next time you connect to Wi-Fi, take a moment to appreciate the complex process that's happening behind the scenes. It's truly a marvel of modern technology.